Okay. So you know how it works now. Okay. Spoon in, upside down. Half turn back. Gently pull it out. Pinch one end. If the um, core comes off in pieces, it's okay. We're going to glue these things back together, glue them to their mounts in the lab, um, so we can put the different pieces in. This one has come in pieces. Prophetic of me. All right. This one it sees water coming out, so it's it's kind of broken up here. Um, so this is going to be challenging to do by myself. I'm going to set this down. Take my other core. I'm sorry, my other straw. Actually, I'm going to get this out first. You can hear the. There it goes. How's that? <laughs> what a mess. Doesn't smell too badly. So obviously this beak is hollow on the inside. So as you can see, uh, woodpecker holes and probably squirrel dens up there. So it's got openings at the top so rainwater is getting in. Coming down here, it's got no place to go, so a collection of water down here. Not especially smelly or black. At first I heard the gas coming out, and then the liquid came out. So. It's just a multi-sensory experience today. This also speaks to the need for cleaning. <laughs> your uh, instruments at the end of the day, right? So we'll have to clean this up so keep good track of it. And surprisingly, I got no plug in there, so I got that down. Okay. Um, got to get that core back in in pieces, but you've seen me do that before, so <laughs> let's call it quits there. Okay, now we're going to core a Virginia pine tree is a conifer, much smaller than ones we've cored before. And again, you kind of get an idea of how far in you need to go. Get out of my way. And this tree has thicker bark than the other trees that we looked at. Um, so a good strategy is to kind of look for a furrow to which to, to core into. Uh, the tree has a slight bend to it and conifer trees put on what's known as compression wood so they're putting wood on the on the downside of the curve to straighten it up so if the pith might be slightly uh, upslope a little bit so we'll see how we do here just line this up A lot easier to core into a pine tree than an oak tree, obviously. Much softer wood. Probably better to go a little bit farther rather than come up short. It's really good if you can hit that pith, the center of the tree. And that should about do it. Okay, so remember I take the spoon and I put it in upside down. Slide it all the way in. Careful not to bend it. Now it's bit grabbed onto that core. I turn it half a turn back, which breaks the core. And I can begin pulling it out. And there we go. All right. So I'm gonna take our paper straw and I'm gonna press down one end of it. And if the other end is Kind of crumpled a little bit. I can use my old golf tee to kind of open it up a little bit. 
Now I'm not going to risk pulling it out and dropping it, and so I'm going to play it safe and put the straw right on the spoon and kind of start grabbing that core as I take it out. At the end of the day, it's important to clean off your instruments, uh, clean off the increment bore, even if the tree doesn't, <laughs> uh, whatever you want to call that, <laughs> get, get liquid all over it. Um, even if that doesn't happen, and you, uh, just the, the oils and the acids, uh, it's important to clean them off so it doesn't begin to corrode away at the metal. Um, basically, all you need is some steel wool. Right? So I just had a, some fine steel wool, kind of tore off a little piece. I've got some cotton that I'll use later. And some WD-40. A little product endorsement, I guess. Uh, it's mostly important to get the inside of the barrel. I guess it can't hurt to get a little bit on the outside as well. Just gonna shoot a little bit in there to dissolve away the oils and whatnot. I'm going to take my little piece of steel wool and wrap it around the teeth of the spoon. You can't have it too thick or it'll get wedged in there. And you got to make sure it gets caught on there or else it'll come off and you'll get this little piece of steel wool stuck down there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so basically you're just going to kind of ream it in, twist it a little bit. And off that way. Yeah, be careful with the uh, bore that you're not nicking it on any rocks or anything. If you do need to bang, you can always bang it on your shoes or something, the rubber or the leather of your shoes. Doesn't want to come off. Piece isn't too grody, grimy. You can kind of use it to wipe off the end of it a little bit. Just take a kind of optional, you can take a little piece of cotton, do the same thing, just kind of rub it around, or uh, sorry, wrap it around, and it just kind of dries out some of that oil so the next core that you take out of here isn't covered with WD 40. So I'm just kind of doing that. came off, but fortunately able to pull it out the other end. And then I'm also going to take just a little piece, kind of wipe down the outside. Okay. A little beyond our uh, goals here, but um, it's good to periodically check uh, for nicks and things, uh, file it down. But again, that's a little beyond our, our call here. So we're going to assume that we got a good sharp point on there and now we're all ready for next time. All right, next up, we'll hit to the lab and mount these scores and start doing some cross-dating. <laughs>